Hey, it's Howard from Kellen Bread, and uh, we're going to look at the six Echo programs for the Billy Park Deluxe today. And the first one you just heard was Echo Program 1. I had it set to kind of a classic 70s Echoplex type setting. Um, comment below who's going to be the first person to uh, name that tune. So we're going to go through the six programs now. We have five left. Here we go. That's right, folks. If you were to duct tape or electrical tape an analog delay to an echoplex, it would sound something exactly like that. Uh, but seriously, so what I got here is patch two, and it's our dark analog delay inspired patch. And settings I have here is uh, one I use a lot when I'm in this patch. I turn the mod modulation down all the way off depth. And I set it to around the range 300 milliseconds of an actual analog delay. Get the repeats up there. We're going to chord level up there a little bit in the mix, kind of nice in the mix. And you get kind of that soupy sort of... Uh, to me, that uh, sounds like an analog delay if it was pimped out with Echoplex electronics, because that's what it is. Um, but we do have a depth control here, and there is a modulation sound available with this patch, which is sort of a medium-type modulation sound that I felt was um, a good match for this sound. Um, so let's hear it uh, compared to patch one to kind of get your ears uh, contrast there. So there's patch one, patch two. So it sits right underneath there, and if you're going you know, use the expression pillar for slapback mode. It's good for an alternate slapback sound if you want it to be a little darker. So, um, got that, and we can get the delay time much longer than most analog delays can if we want. And. And the oscillations you'll notice with each patch uh, take on a different character because of the different uh, tonal profiles of each patch. So with the dark delay patch, let's go ahead and do some runaway echoes and see what happens. Echo Program 2, nice and chewy. What else do we have in store? Let's look at number three next. So that's patch three, and um, that's what happens if you take a rotating speaker and shove that inside an echoplex. Um, so let's talk about that. So I just uh, used the expression pedal, and you could see me go from the fast rotor to the slow rotor. Uh, if you don't have the expression pedal and you just use patch three, then you are fast rotor sound only. And it's still very useful, but um, definitely get an expression pedal and plug it in to take advantage 
of that ramping up and slowing down. It was kind of inspired by, you know, that ramp slow of the Leslie cabinet. So you can do that or you can park it anywhere in between. And I've got the modulation depth set about midway right now on this example up to this point. Uh, when you set it to minimum, it's just a very light modulation. Middle is always a good place to start and you can slow it down via the expression pedal. When you have the toggle switch on the pedal, set to the left, V mode. So that's uh, Echo Program 4, uh, the wall filter sweep. And uh, to take advantage of this patch, you need the expression pedal. And you want the toggle set to the left in uh, V mode. And uh, you get access to it. Without it, uh, you just get a different voiced, without the expression pedal, you get a different voiced repeat that's kind of a variation on Echo Program 1. And you'll notice that it kind of wants to run away a little quicker because it's got a high resonant type sound to it. So all you have to do is pull the echo sustain back a little bit if you want to rock this uh, patch without an expression pedal. But if you're using the expression pedal, which I recommend, highly recommend you do, then you get full access uh, to the sweep of the filter. And the example I just played for you, which I'll play again, um, is sort of the home base for this patch for me, which is that it's really eager to self-oscillate. So as you notice, if I don't move my foot, then it kind of wants to start resonating and oscillating at one point. But you just kind of move your foot away from that and it won't build up. And that makes it real exciting. You can just do all kinds of pads uh, and just sweep through like that. And I would say that's kind of the one of the main sort of uh, goals I had for this patch is to have it do that. So I could have tuned it a little bit lighter and a little bit safer, but I wanted it a little dangerous. I wanted to be kind of like, okay, you gotta like, you gotta like drive this thing or else it's gonna drive you kind of thing. But you can turn the echo sustain down And you'll find that uh, compared to the other programs, you end up turning the sustain down a little bit if you don't want to s oscillate. And then you can use the pedal to just do a preset um, EQ on your repeats. So maybe I want that tone or I want a darker tone. You know, uh, or anywhere in between. You know, if you're recording, you're trying to get that part to sit just right in the mix, you know, that's a thing you could do to get just the right tone on the repeats. Um, so that's one thing you can do with it. Set the echo sustain lower and use it to um, do a preset um, tone control or uh, set it a little bit hotter and let sweep and use the longer delay times for the sweeping stuff. If you do shorter delay times, then you kind of do and you some of you have seen me do this example before, but you end up kind of your fake wah pedal type sound. 
so now I got a uh, minimum delay time there, and now you know you can hear the filter a little bit more plainly. <laughs> So you can pinch in for your wah pedal if you want to do that. And uh, the depth control in this patch uh, gives you a little bit of extra uh, random tape modulation to go with your filter. So that's what it does in this patch here. So you can... So now we can we can have all kinds of fun now with some thick modulation on there as well. You can burn a lot of time with this patch. I know I have. So uh, explore this and uh, see what kind of cool creative stuff you can do with it. Now let's move on to the next thing. So that's Echo Program 5, the DMM Chorus. And I would say after Program 1, Program 5 is the shop favorite. Uh, we just love that big, uh, wide, lush chorus that was inspired by the Deluxe Memory Man. And uh, so what I want to point out on this patch, besides it's a lot of fun to play, and it just gives you that width, coupled with the EP3 uh, uh, analog path and the width of that modulation from the DMM, it's just, uh, you got to play through it. Um, so just like a Deluxe Memory Man, though, uh, the depth control on the modulation can, is capable of getting very modulated. So let's hear what I mean by that. <laughs> so if you've played a real Deluxe Memory Man, uh, DMM, you know that that's what they do. Severe pitch detuning and some really cool applications for that. But if you want just, you know, where it doesn't sound out of tune, uh, the sweet spot's there-ish somewhere. You know, you'll find it around there somewhere. You're a little bit shallower. I'm feeling about there. Or it's nice and wide, but right before it starts getting a little bit pitchy sounding. So I'd like to point out though, on this patch on five, if you turn the depth down, you get no modulation. And uh, if you're treating this, uh, the six programs as no modulation, then you can think of it as different voicings. So um, patch five and then also six, the DMM inspired patches, are the most flat in terms of the repeats EQ. So I hear one, for example. It's got a little bit more of that shiny bite to it. And then two, of course, is dark. And so you go back over to five. And it's fairly flat. So um, if you're not using modulation and you want the repeats, that's something to consider uh, the different tonal EQ voicings of each patch. But for me, it's all about kind of getting it set like that, getting a nice uh, lush long delay thing with just enough repeats. Um, as usual, the record level and echo volume, you just got to play with those to get the balance to where you want it. You know, you don't want to get too much wet because then it starts wanting to sound out tune more. So you kind of just 
get right where it's big and lush. And that's Echo Program 5. And uh, so, yeah, mind where the depth control is and just get a huge, wide, lush sound. Now let's check out the last Echo Program. So that's Echo Program 6, the DMM Vibrato Mode. Um, go ahead and comment below, name that tune for me here. Um, so what I'm doing now with this patch, uh, I've got it set to a short repeat, basically using it as a vibrato sound. That's a little bit wider than like your average kind of vibrato pedal because it's actually delayed a little bit and it's also got the EP3 circuitry of the Billy Park Deluxe, so you get a nice big sound. And um, one thing you can do with this sound uh, with the expression pedal, right now I've got it hooked up for uh, delay time, toggle to the right. And see, so we set longer delay times, you get kind of a whole different picture. Because your dry sound is not vibrato, it's just delayed sound, so. So all kinds of soundscapes and textures you can do with that. But if I were to uh, set it to volume mode and then get to delay time with the front panel knob, back down there to the slapback zone. Pretty cool, huh? I can just blend in that vibrato and um, Let's do some dirt here and see what happens. So I find that particularly useful with the vibrato. You can just kind of bring that in and punctuate your musical uh, passage and do it real seamlessly. It's like a crossfade into it. Or you can just have it a little lighter. And um, that's pretty cool with there. So uh, the expression pedal works in volume mode on programs one, two, five, and six. Um, if you set the toggle to the left, you will get uh, a volume control over the repeats and the volume control is not corresponding to any panel control. It's um, what I always say is it controls the volume at the playback head. So if you've got repeats already going through. Um, and the volume will just, uh, it decreases the volume of the repeats in the loop. So it's not the same as the echo volume, which is the mixer control and it doesn't affect the amount of repeats. And it's not the same as the record level, which is at the front end, and it's the record level determines how hot it throws your guitar signal into that loop. So imagine the loop spinning around, you're gonna throw something onto it. The record level is what determines that. And the echo volume determines what's coming out of the loop, and you can control what's inside the loop as far as the volume, the gain-wise, when you're in volume mode with this. Uh, so obviously with three and four, this uh, works for the rotary speed and uh, the filter as we've seen. And then when the right is uh, applied on the toggle switch, it's always delay time. And the maximum set by the knob here. And uh, those are the six echo programs. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you a feel, some of the tips um, that I might have um, in this video. And um, I think the rest is up to you and your exploration of it. I'm sure you guys will be out there and posting your videos and your favorite sounds. Hopefully you'll find some new sounds that I haven't found yet, because even though I designed this thing, um, when I sit down with a quality time session with this thing, I will find other areas that I never thought of. And uh, I think today I just kind of went through some of the ones that 
usually come to my foreground. But sometimes I get deep into this thing, you just go into all kinds of new vistas. So that's pretty much it. Carry on and enjoy yourself and rock out with Billy Pock Deluxe. Go to bed. <laughs>